was on life jacket. Emeka, the DOP, was on life jacket. There was still one life jacket available. I don't know who took it, who had it. But my PM said that day that they saw life jackets hanging there, so they took it. That even he even told Friday, the late Friday, to send one to Jinopo. But that Jinopo said it was dirty or so, so he didn't take it. These people with the life jacket survived. And they also told me that when they were in the water trying to survive, that Junior Pope was also there asking, is everybody okay? Hope everybody is fine. That they even threw a gallon to him to use and hold himself, which he was holding. That all of a sudden they didn't see him again. It was when they came out that they noticed that he was... Hey guys, so Nollywood actress and movie producer Adam Maluk, whom Junior Pope was actually working for when the boat accident that took his life happened, has finally come out to confess and say everything she knows about the story, about what happened to the crew members on the actors on her movie production set. And man, this is why it is good to hear from both sides. So I think the Nigerians cancelled her quite early. As in, she said a lot of things. She even said that they gave Nollywood actor Junior Pope John Paul a live vest but he rejected it because it was dirty. He, she, she also said that they gave him a gallon to hold on to so that he wouldn't sink. Of which he collected that one and was holding on to it but how he managed to sink and drown in the river is still a misery to her. Just come down and watch this video already guys and please do well to let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Good morning everyone. My name is Adam Maluk. On the 10th of April, we lost five of our members who were on their way to work on their way to location through the means of boat transportation had an accident I've been so traumatized so cold this whole thing it still feels like a dream to me I just wish I can still wake up from this dream I've not been able to make any statements since because been trying to recover the bodies. I've been providing uh, providing for money to those looking for bodies. Provided the uh, caskets, ambulance to make sure the bodies were conveyed to their villages, to the families that wanted it to be done. I've not been quiet. I've been doing this. I've been doing this just so these people can rest. It's so sad that this had to happen on my set. It's so sad. I blame myself that I would have been in Lagos doing my thing in Lagos. I blame myself for coming down to a server. I 
was supposed to be on that boat. My production manager was calling me to bring the memory card so they can start filming. And I told him to come and collect it. He said, Mama, you know this place is far. Please just bring it for us. I said, okay, why haven't you progressed? Why haven't you gone to work? He said, they're waiting for the new book to arrive. I said, okay. Before now, on the night, they went there on their own. When Junior Pope came, he came on his own. He came alone. So, on this tent, while I was getting ready to go drop the card with them, I was accompanied with my brother's children, two kids that were supposed to go with me. We were supposed to be on that boat together. Getting there, I saw Emeka. Emeka was my DOP. He was just sitting. I was surprised because I didn't see others. I asked him, like, what is it? And people surrounded him. He said, Emeka, what is it? Emeka was quiet. Emeka talked to me. What, what is it? What's the problem? Why haven't you crossed? Where is Ogolo? Where is everybody? Has JP come? He was quiet. I started shouting. What was happening? Somebody talked to me. I make an announce said, JP, don't go. I began, don't go. Friday, don't go. All I did, don't go. Precious. Don't go. Ha. I still don't understand what he meant by that. I said, Emeka, what do you mean, don't go? Don't go where? Don't go where? Like, they are not shooting again. He said, they didn't say water. They didn't say water. I said, no. Let me go. Let me go and look for them. He started holding me. He started holding me that she don't go. I said, let me go. Let me be there. Let me be sure the divers are looking for them. They said no, that there are over 50 divers inside the water looking for them. Hi, God. I still can't believe this. I still can't believe this because these crew members were my family. They've been working with me in Lagos. If I'm shooting in Lagos, they will transport from Asaba to Lagos to come and work with me. All through last year, we stayed together in Lagos. We were filming, working together. This is my first time working with JP. It's my first time filming with JP. He's my friend. The wife is my friend too. I talked to the wife sometime. And that was when she gave JP the phone and said, Why aren't you giving my husband work? JP said, I thought you'd be my friend. Why are you not giving me work? I told JP that. You know you, my action film in the shoot. I hardly do action. He said, no, say they do love story or they do other things. That's why he's an artist now. I said, yeah, that's true that. I forgot that as an artist, you can do other things. So okay, don't worry. Ready before JP came that Tuesday afternoon. 
and that was when he made the video he posted if you, if you all can see he was alone on that boat that day because every other person has gone then on the third Wednesday that this whole thing happened I was still in my hotel getting ready because I was holding their card that they would use to film the production manager told me they were waiting for Junior Pope said that uh, he has not come before I knew what was happening, Junior Pope called me and said, ah, Ada, what's happening? I said, nothing, what's up? He said, I'm calling you because of TC, what's happening? TC is an artist I employed for this job. Do Matthew Okafu. I called him for this job. He was supposed to, he's playing a role as one of the boys in the movie. So I told I told uh, Junior Cook that what did he tell you? He said because he's threatening that he's coming with boys to come and scatter your sets that he's going to deal with you. I said, why will he say that? That this is the same thing he did on my set in 2021 when I employed him for a, a job. He started fighting the director that the director is not a DGM member, whereas the director is a DGM member. He was just fighting the poor boy. The poor, the, that is me in his documents. If he's seen this video, I believe he can attest to it. So this uh, JP was like, but why is that? So I took him out to stress me on the job. He said, okay, Ada, no problem. Just pay me my, my money, my artist fee, and the 3,000 more for the lab. No problem. Save the living for me. I said okay. I told Ogolo to handle it and sort it because Ogolo is my PM. I give him money to sort to, to do transfers and buy things that's needed because I don't do all that myself. I give money to my production manager. He handles everything from bringing out artists, transportation, and everything feeding. He does all that. On that said day. I saw my director. They were outside. I saw a maker too. So my director was saying that, Mama, I, I don't know what happened though. I don't know. He was on life jacket. A maker, the DOP, was on life jacket. There was still one life jacket available. I don't know who took it, who had it. But my PM said, that day that they saw life jackets hanging there so they took it that even he even told friday the late friday to send one to jinopo but that jinopo said it was dead yes so so he didn't take it this people with the life jacket survived and they also told me that when they were in the water trying to survive that jinopo was also there asking is everybody okay hope everybody is fine that they even threw a gallon to him to use and hold himself which he was holding that all of a sudden they didn't see him again it was when they came out that they noticed that he was no longer there because the same divers came and rescued some of them why other divers were still there trying to rescue others. Asked what would have caused this? What would have caused this accident? He said uh, he didn't know, but that Tissi was standing. Tissi was standing on the speedboat and ringing bell. 